Hi guys, Pam here from Toronto Dog Walking. Thanks so much for watching the replay today. So what we're going to talk about is dogs who pull on leashes. So I walk dogs so many times and I'm walking out and about and all I see is dogs literally pulling their owners down the street. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, the poor dog like can't be enjoying this walk. The owner must be hating the walk and must be an absolute chore to get up, get off the couch and walk the dog if they know they're going to get pulled down the street. So I want you to let me know if your dog pulls on leash, what type of dog they are and what you currently use to, to walk your dog. So if you use a collar, if you use a harness, what, you, what kind of management tool at the moment that you use to walk your dog. So it's a Sunday morning, it's a nice day and you say to yourself, I want to go for a nice relaxing walk. But you know, it's going to be anything but relaxing when you go to walk your dog. So you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to just hop in the car. It's easier just to throw the dog in the car, head to an off leash park, and that's going to be enough. But it's not the purpose of what you wanted to do. You wanted to go for a nice walk. Taking your dog to the off leash can be amazing. And it's great for the dog. He can go play with his friends. He can go have a good run. And then, you know, he's going to sleep the afternoon away. But that's not going to solve the issue of you want to go for a nice walk. So with small dogs, most owners will still get enjoyment out of walking their dogs even if the dog is pulling throughout the whole walk. So it's not too much of a, like a, a hassle to a dog, dog owner who has a small dog because they're still going to enjoy the walk regardless if their dog is pulling because they're, they weigh probably around 10, 15 pounds. So a dog who is 80 pounds who's pulling you down the street is a huge difference between a dog who is like 10, maybe 20 pounds who's walking you down the street. So if you have any dog who, let, who walks you, just go ahead and let me know. So I'm going to go through two management tools today about what type of um, management tools we can use to walk a dog without having to go to training classes and having to go through a whole process of learning your dog to walk nicely on a leash. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is the head halty. And if you have seen the head halty, it's the one that comes over the dog's nose and it wraps around the back of the head. So there's two different types. So the first one you have is the halty. And the great thing about the halty, it has a safety clip. So it clips from underneath the dog right onto its collar. So if the dog happens to slip out of the halty, there's a backup plan and you, you still have a hold of your dog. Whereas with the gentle leader, it just ties around the dog's neck and it hooks onto the front. So there isn't a backup plan to let you know how, like if your dog doesn't have a good recall and they got off leash, it's not a great idea. So the big difference with the halty or the gentle leader, it requires work to be able to use it with your dog. You can't just put it on your dog and hope for the best and think it's gonna work because the dog is gonna freak out. He's gonna be like, what on earth is this that's going over my nose? So there is many conditioning videos that you'd be able to find on YouTube, plenty of free resources, and I will post a free resource of a great video that is great at helping you adjust your dog to the halting. So you will need to do training. You will probably need to do maybe five to 10 sessions, just like short sessions, two minutes a day, just to build up that your dog, when they see the halting, they're absolutely in love with it and they're not going to mind it being on their nose. Because how the halting works, it's kind of similar to a horse. So it goes over the nose and they will put pressure on their nose if it tries to, if they try to pull. But the biggest benefit of the halty is you won't be like it's if you have a dog that pulls, and I mean really, really pulls very hard, you're gonna see the biggest difference. Some dogs that I've had that pull like crazy, I've been able to walk them on my pinky afterwards. So it's really, really great if um you have a dog that's really big weighs a lot and tends to pull really hard so it takes work but oh my gosh is it worth it just don't buy it and put it on your dog and hope for the best so our other option which is the easy walk and with the easy walk as the name suggests it's the easiest option so with the easy walk is the body harness with a front clip so it goes over the dog's head around their body and you clip the leash to the front so dogs don't need any conditioning to wear the wear the harness. It's very simple. 
all say all you need to do is put it on go for a walk and when you're going for a walk if the dog tries to pull it will just pull their body to to the side so if they're trying to walk, pull and they're going straight what it's going to do it's going to turn them to the side so a lot of dogs learn pretty quickly with it that if they're going to pull they're not going to get they're not going to get to where they go so it changes their perspective about what they think about going for a walk now the only downside to the the harness itself is that if you have a dog that has a deep chest like a dog like boxers that kind of stuff it's harder for the the harness to fit them properly so you will need to bring your dog to the pet store when you're buying it but if you do buy it and it doesn't it doesn't fit your dog correctly all the pet stores will take it back and then give you your money back so it's not ideal for all dogs but it does work on them labradors golden retrievers golden doodles all type of doodle breeds it's perfect they have the perfect body shape for it and it's really really easy to use so sometimes it can be just literally like day and night you put the harness on and then all of a sudden you're like oh my god like it's really great like and the dog is the dog is more relaxed you're more relaxed and you're going for a nice walk so either solution is great i would try probably the easy walk first see how you get on with your dog if that solves the problem if that doesn't solve the problem i would go and i would get a halty and then train it train your dog to like the halty that it's not it's not anything negative association so lots of treat train and bring treats with you when you're on your walk you can grab the video at torontodogwalking.com my dog pulls on a leash so if you go at the the address should be popping up on the screen now so what you want to do is if you go to that there's a great link to a video which will help you be able to um adjust your dog to the harness or to the halting so it's very very important and i can't stress this enough if you're going to go and do the halty, you need to train your dog. There is no quick win with this. It's like if you want your dog to wear a muzzle, you can't just put the muzzle on your dog because they're going to rub their nose in the ground. They're going to do everything they can to get it off. So there's great other resources on Muzzle Up Project. So it's the same kind of methods that you would use to get your dog to like a muzzle as to get their dog to like a halty. So if you want to go to torontodogwalking.com, my dog pulls on leash, you'll be able to grab the video there. You'll be able to get more information on the easy walk and on the halty. So if you have any questions, you just pop it in the comments and I will be coming back in to check on your comments and reply to you guys. Thanks for watching.